Good afternoon. My name is Gopinath Reddy. Our topic is packages, which is in the third unit of Java programming. So, what is packages? Package is a group of similar types of group of similar types of So what is package? Package is a group of similar types of classes, interfaces and sub packages. So packages contains similar types of classes, interfaces and sub packages. So the packages are divided into two types. One is the built in package and the second one is the user defined package. So built in package is also called as the predefined packages the user packages are created by the users so here we have the number of built-in packages in java example that are java lang package awt package java x package swings package net package io package so these packages are the predefined packages in java so we can see example here java is the package so this package has some sub packages the sub packages are lang and util and also awt so lang awt and util are the sub packages of the java the sub packages contain the classes for example the lang sub package contain system dot class similarly string dot class similarly the util sub package contains array list dot class and map dot class similarly the awt sub package contains a the button dot class and so on so a package contains the sub packages the sub packages contain the classes so java package is a collection of similar types of classes interfaces and sub packages now we can see how user create the packages so to create a use package by the user we can use a keyword that is called package keyword so by using the package keyword the user create a package in java the syntax to create a package in java is this is the syntax first we can give package pack name next in this package we can create any number of classes for example public class first class so this contains the body of the class for example consider we can see how we can create a package for example consider package the package name is the my pack so here the package name is the my pack my pack contains the some classes here the class name is the simple so my pack contain a class simple so in this class we can writing main method in this main method we are printing welcome to the packages so we can create the packages using a keyword package keyword so we can see another example consider a package a so in this package we can write we can write any number of classes for example public class b so a is the package b is the class name so in this class b we can write main method so we can write in the main method public static void main string of ox so in this we can write the we are printing the system dot out dot print talent welcome to packages so simply we can write the packages in java so how we can compile the packages in java so to compile the packages in java we have the syntax is java c minus d destination folder file name dot java so 
the packages to execute the packages we can use the minus d option and we are providing a destination folder at the file name dot java example is java c minus d the package name is simple dot java here the destination folder is the dot dot specifies the current folder so in this way we can compile the packages after compilation how to run the packages we can run the package by using the package name and class name so java is the run my pack is the package name dot simple simple is the class name in that package so we can run the packages in java using java my pack dot simple so we can get the output welcome to package so to compile the packages we need to use the minus d option and we can provide the destination folder and the file name dot java so this is the how to compile the programs in packages next after creating the packages how we can access the packages in java so to access the packages in java we have the three ways one way is the import package dot star another way is the import package name dot class name and the third way is the fully qualified name so these are the three ways to access the packages from outside the package now we can see one by one how we can use the first and the second and the third the first way is using package name dot star whenever we specify package name dot star that means we can access the all the classes and interfaces of that package for example already we create a package package my pack in this my pack we have a class public class a so we can access the class a using the my pack so my pack dot star that means in from the my pack we can access the all the classes okay we can see one example how we can access the all the class all the classes from this package for example package pack we are creating a package pack in this package we are creating a class a in this class a we are creating a we are writing a method message method so the package pack contains the class a now we can access this class a which is in the package pack from outside so for that we can use the import keyword for that we can use the import keyword import pack dot star that means we can access all the classes within the package pack so we are writing a class b and public static void main so we easily access that class in the package outside the package that's why i am creating object for a so a equal to new a a dot message so it will print out the hello it will print the hello so in this way we can access the packages from outside the package so this is the one way and the second way is and the second way is we can access the required classes from the package for that we can use package name dot class name so for example 
consider a package my pack so in this my pack i have the two classes public class a similarly public class b suppose i want to access the class a which is in package my pack from outside so in that case i can use the package name dot class name here package name is the my pack my pack dot a then we can access the a class which is in package my pack so we can see example for this one package pack we are creating a package pack package pack in that package pack we are writing a class a in this class a we are writing a method msg so message method so now we can access the class a which is in package pack outside so for that we can use the import so to access the class a only we can use pack dot a so pack dot a means we can access the a class only from pack pack so i am writing class b in that class b i am accessing a class a so a dot message so a dot message means it will print hello so package dot star means we can access all the classes which is in the package suppose to access a particular class from the package we can use package name dot class name so this is the second way now the third way is the fully qualified name so by using the fully qualified name also we can access the classes which is in the package so if we use the fully qualified name then only declared class of this package will be accessible so for example we can see how we can access the classes from in the package from outside the package for example we are creating a package pack in that package pack we having the class a in that class a we have a method message method so the message method prints the output hello now we can access the class a which is in the package pack in the another package for that class b no need to import here public class static main method here we can write pack dot a pack dot a means a class is in the package pack so we are creating object new pack dot a so that means by using this one we are accessing the a class which is in the package pack so now we can access the message method that is available in the class a so these are the three ways how we can access the packages outside the package next we have the concept of access protection or access modifiers in java we have the two types of the access modifiers one is the access modifiers and non access modifiers so in java we have the two types of the modifiers one is the access modifiers and the second one is the non access modifiers so the access modifiers are the four types that are private default protected and public so these four are the access specifiers similarly we have the non access specifiers such as static abstract synchronized native volatile transient so we can discuss about the non access modifiers in further chapters so in this concept it is we discuss about only access modifiers that are private default protected and 
public so remember this table how we can act we can use the access modifiers in java for example access modifier is the private so remember one point the access modifiers are applicable to data members methods constructors or class so it will specify the scope it will specify the scope of data members scope of the method scope of the constructor or similarly scope of the class so when we use the private access modifier that means that private access modifier only accessible within the class only we cannot access private access modifiers within the package or outside the package using the inheritance concept and outside the package so when we use the private access modifier it will be accessible only within the class suppose second modifier is the default whenever the data member is the default access modifier it will be accessible only within the class and similarly within the package but not outside the package using the inheritance and similarly outside the package so when the access modifier is the protected then it will be accessible within the class within the package outside the package using the inheritance concept but not outside the package so when we use the public access modifier it will be accessible within the class within the package outside the package using the inheritance similarly outside the package so when we remember this table we can easily write a programs based on the access modifiers now we can see one by one what is how we can access the private modifiers default similarly protected and public the first one is the private access modifier so when we declare a data member or a method or a class as the private access modifier it will be accessible only within the class when we try to access outside the class it will return a compile error so we can see an example consider class a so in this class a we have a variable data which is the private access modifier similarly we have a method message method message method is also the private access modifier that means the variable data and the method message only accessible within the class a so whenever we try to access these two outside the class it will return an error see example public class simple and we are writing a main method now we are trying to access the class a in the simple class here a equal to new a but here we cannot accessible the variable data similarly we cannot accessible do the method message so in this case it will return compile time error so whenever we try to access the private access modifiers outside the class it will return compile time errors so this is the private access modifier next the second one is the default access modifier so when we declare any data member as the default access modifier it will be accessible within the class and within the package only but not outside the package so we can see one example consider one package package pack here we have the class a in the class a void message so void message is the default access modifier that means this message method can be accessible within the class a similarly within the package pack only so now i am trying to access this method outside the package that is in the package my pack for example import pack dot star 
import pack dot star means we can access all the classes which is in the package pack next main method a we are creating a object a we are trying to access the class a now we are trying to access in the message method so in this case it will return the compile time error why because the message method is the default access modifier it will be accessible only within the class within the package but not outside the class and outside the package so we got the compile time error so this is the second access modifier that is the default access modifier next the third one is the protected access modifier so when we declare a data member as the private protected access modifier it will be accessible within the class within the package outside the package using inheritance only so we can see example we are creating a package package pack in that package pack we are writing a we are creating a class a in this class a we are writing a method message method the access modifier of this message method is the protected so when we declare the message method as a protected access modifier it will be accessible within the class within the package outside the package using the inheritance so we can we are trying to access so package my pack import pack dot star next class b extends class a that means by using inheritance we are accessing class a properties into the class b here that is accessible so we are writing a main method so we are creating a object for the b class so b dot message so b dot message means the message method is the accessible so it will return output is the hello so in this way the protected access modifiers are accessible outside the package using inheritance concept next example is the public access modifier the public access modifier is when we declare a data member as the public access modifier it will be accessible anywhere everywhere so that means we can access within the package within the class outside the package using inheritance similarly outside the package for example package pack we are writing a class a within the class a we are writing a method message the message method access specifier is the public that means the message method is accessible anywhere next we are writing a print statement system dot out dot print ln it will print the hello method now we are trying to access this method outside the package so outside the package we are using the package my pack import pack dot star import pack dot star means we can accessible all the classes within the package pack next class b here we are writing a main method now we are accessing a class a so a dot message a dot message is the accessible why because the message access specifier is the public so we got the output hello so we have the four access modifiers so we need to remember the table of the access modifiers so whenever we declare the data member as the private access modifier it will be accessible only within the class when we declare the access modifier as the default it will be accessible within the class and within the package when we declare the access modifier as the public it will be accessible within the class within the package outside the package using the inheritance when the access modifier is the public it will be accessible anywhere anywhere means within the class within the package outside the package using inheritance and outside the package so this is the today concept about the packages so how we can access the packages outside the package
Thank you.